Hi everybody, on today's video I'll be talking about the LSX, a stereo wireless music system available from KEF. We're going to look at what the LSX actually does, how to get it connected, and how to go about getting your music playing from these powerful little speakers. LSX is an active stereo system, meaning you get a pair of speakers, each with their own amplification built into the speakers themselves. As a result, there is no need for a separate amplifier, cutting down on the amount of space in your room that a hi-fi system needs to take up. The speakers themselves are slightly scaled down versions of the multiple award winning LS50 speakers. I absolutely love the LS50s, so anything infused with their DNA immediately gets my attention. You'll notice that each speaker has a single drive unit. This is Kef's famous UniQ driver, which uses a concentric design placing the tweeter, responsible for producing the high frequency sounds, in the middle of the bass and mid range driver. UniQ drivers appear throughout the Kef range on everything from the compact LSX to the 2 meter tall, £140,000 a pair muons. The result of this specifically designed driver is that you can get a much more well-defined stereo image as well as a larger listening sweet spot. So not only is each of these speakers amplified, each actually contains two separate amplifiers. There's a 30 watt one powering the tweeter and a 70 watt one powering the bass and mid-range driver. Separating out the amplifiers provides greater clarity and the resulting 100 watts per channel means that not only do these small speakers have the punch to fill quite a large space, but also the power to maintain the dynamics of your music whatever volume you're listening at. Looking at the back of the speakers, you can see that the connections are different on each one. The LSX are configured to have one primary and one secondary speaker, with the default being that the primary speaker, which is the one with the larger number of connections, is the right-hand side speaker. This can be reversed in the KEF Control app, however. Although the LSX is branded as a wireless system, you've got the option of hooking up quite a few cables here. At its most simple level, you can just plug each speaker into the mains and you're ready to get set up. All you need then is a device like a phone to operate the apps and you can wirelessly beam your music to both speakers. There are two network ports on the back of the primary speaker, oriented differently, and it's important not to get them mixed up. One allows you to connect the speakers to your home network if you're in a situation with less than stellar Wi-Fi. There is also an Ethernet port on each speaker that allows you to run a network cable between them. Without this cable, the speakers will rely on KEF's wireless system to communicate with each other, and this generally works very well. However, if you're setting them up somewhere with a lot of wireless interference, you may find that the cable can provide a stronger connection. For those that are into high-res music, that is music mastered at higher than CD quality, both setups allow the LSX to play 24-bit music, but you'll need to use the cable connection if you want to play back audio sampled at over 48kHz, and this supports up to 24-bit 96kHz. Most users will find that the wireless connection works well and has plenty of bandwidth for the music they'll be playing. Elsewhere on the back, you'll see a connector to allow you to connect a powered subwoofer to the system if you find that you want a little more bass. There's an analog auxiliary in, giving you the option to connect maybe a phone or a laptop with a standard mini jack cable, or perhaps a turntable. If you are connecting a turntable, you need to make sure that it either has a built-in phono stage or that you're using an external one. Next to this is an optical port, allowing you to connect your television directly to the LSX. This is a really popular feature, as you can have these compact little speakers filling your room with high quality music, as well as dramatically improving the sound you get from your TV shows and movies. Finally, along the top are a series of buttons that allow you to reset the unit, pair the two speakers, and to put the LSX into Bluetooth pairing mode. There are two applications that allow you to control the KEF LSX, the KEF Control and KEF Stream apps, and you'll need both. The KEF Control app is the one that guides you through setting up your speakers and connecting them to your network. You can use this app to change inputs and change the volume, although there's a physical remote control provided. Pressing the equaliser button in the bottom right corner allows you to change the characteristics of the speakers. There are two levels here. The first is a basic menu which will allow you to tell the speakers some information about your room, which the app will then use to adjust the sound coming from the speakers in order to give you the most accurate sound. Next is the Expert tab which allows you much greater control over these changes. From the main page of the control app, there is a button that allows you to quickly leap over to the stream app. You can use this app to play music from local media servers or from Tidal. We've already got our Tidal account loaded up and it's easy to browse through music I've saved, view it by album, select something and get it playing. Pressing the bar on the bottom brings the now playing screen to full screen. You can also use AirPlay, Bluetooth or Spotify Connect to get your music playing if you're using a different streaming service. I hope you've enjoyed this quick overview of the KEF LSX wireless speaker system. Thanks for watching.